Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Showcase video. In today's video I am taking a look at one of your designs that you have linked me in the comment section of one of my videos. And if you wish to see something of yours shown on this channel, just leave me a Steam Workshop link somewhere and I'll eventually get round to it. But for today we're going to be looking at a small non-combat transport ship called the Star Chaser Shuttle Transport, which is this thing right here. Now this is simply a small ship that uses hydrogen and iron thrusters, where its entire purpose is for you to transport two people from a planet into space, maybe over to a space station if you're that way inclined. So pressing F10 and finding the Star Chaser, there it is, this little ship weighs in at 301 small blocks. It uses no DLC blocks, it uses no mods, so it is perfect to build in survival mode. It does have a lot of small iron thrusters on there, but they are very cheap to the point where if you could salvage a pirate wreckage, you could easily get this up and running if you've just got into space. So let's start by going around the outside and then I'll take it over to space just to test out its thrusters. We are in survival mode, so I do have to keep an eye on my oxygen and power stats, and I will have to keep an eye on the hydrogen in this ship. So at the very front here, we have got our fighter cockpit that has been surrounded by some sloped armoured blocks. Some of them are white, some of them in grey, and a little bit of red with some blue behind it. At the very front, in front of everything, we have one small reactor which isn't connected up to anything else. This is our emergency power, so if all your other reactors have got blown up, if your batteries are out of charge and you're simply floating through space, this is where you just try and get some kind of uranium, shove it into this one and recharge your batteries and try and get to safety basically. Below that we have got two hydrogen thrusters and one ion thruster just to help us stop. We do have some more red steel blocks just below there for an extra bit of decoration. In fact, let's just go around the side before I go underneath. So as we come around the side, we've got some more ion thrusters just to help us in space. And we can see behind the fighter cockpit, a hydrogen tank. We then got some blue steel blocks which are coming across onto a blue battery. And above that blue battery, we've got some more ion thrusters. Moving across to this first little wing thruster part, we've got a standard cockpit for one of your passengers to sit in, and that's the same on both sides. Behind this cockpit, we have got another ion thruster. We have a conveyor block with some more hydrogen thrusters coming off it. We've got some more white, blue and grey blocks which are coming across to form our wings. And at the top there, we've got some white and red blocks just to be our little fins at the back. Connected to that conveyor, we've got a little conveyor joining block. I can't remember what that's called, so I'll quickly look this up right here. There is a conveyor frame, which is coming across onto a large hydrogen thruster. Now, as we come around and just come underneath here, we can see we've got some more thrusters, and we've got some landing gear with a little connector underneath there. Moving all the way to the back, we've got some more block work, just connecting ourselves onto some more iron thrusters. So we've got some more for the top. We've got some large ones there to push us forwards and we've got our two large hydrogen thrusters which is going to be our main force to get us out of the atmosphere. Coming up and over the top we've just got some more block work which is hiding up all the precious internals. We can see we've got another conveyor joiner in there which is going to lead us to a cargo container and we've just got some more fancy block work over there just to stop it from being a blocky design. If I was to come underneath there, pass these red blocks, we've got some more white blocks below the hydrogen tank. There is our connector where we've got some more hydrogen thrusters and two gyroscopes just to make sure we've got some control. Some landing gear to make sure we can lock ourselves to a base or maybe even to another moving ship so you didn't get flung off it. And some more hydrogen thrusters just to lift us off. And that about covers the Star Chaser Shuttle Transport. It's a nice little design, it's a very sleek design, and when you go away from it, it does look good like that. It looks like a proper little shuttle. So now it's time to take control of my character and hop inside the first cockpit. In fact, I'll hop inside one of these cockpits first, because these do not contain anything and you cannot control anything. So you could, if you wanted to, use them as a prisoner transport. So getting into our main fighter cockpit, we've got a few options. 
Like I said, this is a non-combat ship, so there's nothing too much going on with it, it's just a lot of turning stuff on and off. So number one is our O2H2 generators, which is to turn all our ice into precious hydrogen. And I've got 297 ice in the connector, and there should be some more, there we are, 2.13k in the O2H2 generator, and we've got some uranium in the reactors. Number two is to turn our hydrogen thrusters on and off. We only really need to use them on a planet with an atmosphere or a moon with an atmosphere, so the ion thrusters are not going to help you there. But we can just turn them off, and once we're in space, we can turn on the ion thrusters and they'll be enough for us to scoot around space. Number four is to turn off the reactors. So they've all been grouped together, we can just turn them off, and we just run out of power completely. Number five is the batteries, where we can switch it from recharging to auto. So if you were to, say, be low on uranium, you could simply just turn off your reactors and rely on those batteries while they still have a charge. Number six is the connector at the bottom. So if you needed to put more stuff in the ship or load stuff off, you can do it like so. Number seven is how we're going to unlock our landing gear. So we simply press that, then we can press it again and just lock ourselves. Number eight and nine are how we're going to get out in the atmosphere using as little hydrogen as possible. So we're just going to have a thruster override. So if I was, I am locked down, good. And turn off the dampeners, we can then press number eight and we'll start by pushing our thrusters all the way forwards. Then we can just turn that off. And that's how we're going to get to space. On tad number two, three, four, there's nothing else on here. So we're good to take off and do a quick little thruster test. So taking off and putting the dampeners on before I come crashing back down, we've got a fair amount of speed going up and a lot of speed going down. Moving forwards, we have one hell of a lot of thrust thanks to those hydrogen thrusters at the back there. Reversing is quite slow compared to going forwards, but still very much serviceable. Going left and going right is pretty slow compared to everything else on the ship. And moving my mouse around, we've got a nice lot of control. Now I did just burn through a fair amount of hydrogen there, so I am just going to skedaddle and head out to space. So there we go, we're just going to put our thruster override all the way up. We're just going to tilt ourselves up to a nice, let's say... About a 90 degree angle would probably be better. There we go, and then I'm going to just turn off the dampeners. That should be good enough for me to get into space without using much hydrogen. Now I've got to pay attention to the planet's gravity, which is very see-through, so you might not be able to see this on YouTube, because I will need to flip over to the ion thrusters. In fact, I'll just leave them on for the moment. It's only going to burn through uranium. Down to 65 hydrogen, we might be able to... I think I'm... Actually, no, I can't do it just yet. I'm getting way ahead of myself. Yes, we're just going to keep going up. 60% done. We're now out. Can I now switch off these and just keep going forwards? We're losing speed slowly. We might be able to do this. I have no idea. I can't remember the threshold of the iron thrusters taking over. In fact, no, I'm just going to leave them on for the moment and keep going. It's been a long time since I've taken a ship out of a planet. In fact, I think it was during my survival video was the last time I've properly done it. I've just been spawning in space and starting with a space station. So I'm now starting to leave. This should be okay. It should be 0 0.7 where I can just... Yes, there we go. We can turn off the hydrogen. We're just going to let the O2H2 generators just go and deal with all the remaining ice in the ship. Just going to toggle this all the way down. And we're pretty good. Can I switch this to the... Ch oh god, that'll max out the power. We shouldn't do that. Nope, and I can turn off the uranium reactors. Uranium reactors, won't we? So I can turn off the reactors now because they are not needed. In fact, I can put the damages on because I can. And we're just going to leave the planet. In fact, we're quite far away, actually. We'll still fall down if I was to let go. It's a good ship, only using about half its hydrogen tank to get into space, which is pretty damn good. She will need a lot less to actually go back to the planet, because, well, you could just put them on the last minute and pray that you stop in time. 
A parachute might be useful. Is there a parachute on this one? There might be a parachute. Let me just try this. No, there isn't a parachute on this one. And that basically covers the Star Chaser Shuttle Transport. It's a lovely little ship, and I fully understand if you don't really like these types of ships because they're small, don't have much going on with them, don't have loads of guns to blast your enemies with, but I do enjoy playing around with these, especially when I'm trying to test stuff out. It's always nice to have a good array of small ships that you can simply spawn in and use. So it'll be in the description below if you wish to download and play around with this yourself. And I'll be back with another showcase video tomorrow. Bye bye.